So in this tutorial, we're going to look at similar shapes and what we do when we're trying to find lengths using similar shapes. Uh, the first thing to think about is that if they happen to overlap on the diagram, then we should draw them separately just to make things clearer. And we'll see that in the second question. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, it's a four-step process, really. We're going to identify the equivalent known lengths, so we've got something to work with. For each part of the question, we're going to establish which way we're going. Is the shape getting bigger or is it getting smaller? And that will uh, tell us whether the scale factor should be less than 1 or bigger than 1. Okay, bigger than 1 if it's getting bigger, less than 1 if it's getting smaller. How do we find the scale factor, though? We take the second known length and put it over the first known length. Okay, and we'll do that in a minute. And then we use that scale factor to find the length that we want by multiplying, of course, because it's a scale factor. And factors are things that are multiplied. So let's do this first question. Okay, there's no overlap between the shapes, so we can just use them as they are. And look, those two um, lengths are equivalent. So let's mark those as we have. And then for part one, let's establish which way we're going. Well, we're trying to find PS, uh, and we know AD, so we're going to go from the bigger shape to the smaller shape. So for part one, we're going that way. And we need to find the scale factor. And as I say, the scale factor is always the second length over the first length. And we're expecting that to be less than one because we're getting smaller, the shape is getting smaller. So we do 6 over 8. You could simplify that if you want to, but you don't really need to. And now we can just say PS is the equivalent side on the other shape, that's AD, uh, times 6 over 8. So that's 9 times 6 over 8, which is, of course, if you put it in your calculator, 3 quarters of 9, 6.75 and we're in centimetres. For part two, now some people will tell you to use that scale factor you've just got and divide, but actually it's so much easier just to start again. This time we want to find uh, CD or DC, and we know the equivalent shape on the smaller uh, shape, the equivalent side, sorry, on the smaller shape, so we're now in a getting bigger situation. And so our new scale factor is, well, it's the second uh, known length, which is now 8, over the first one, which is now 6, because we're going the other way. So my scale factor is 8 over 6, and I can say CD is equal to uh, RS times 8 over 6, and RS is 9, multiplied by 8 over 6, and if you do that any way you like, you can do it by cancelling or on your calculator, you get 12 centimetres. And we are done. Okay, let's look at a slightly harder question. It's harder to start with because there is an overlap between the shapes. Um, and we are not even told that there are similar shapes here. But because these two lines are parallel, that means that this angle and this angle are the same, uh, because they're corresponding angles, as are this angle and this angle. Uh, and obviously the other angle is common, so these two triangles are genuinely similar. Okay, the triangle APQ and ABC. Let's draw them out separately. Okay, so here is uh, APQ with 6 and 8 on it. And here is, um, not a very good drawing, but it'll do ABC with just the 12 on it there. Okay, it's all in centimetres. Now, what are we actually asked to find? We're asked to find PB, which is this side here. Now, that's not a side on one of the triangles, so let's give it a name. Uh, let's call PB um, X and mark it on my diagram. Now, that means that on this second triangle here, AB is in fact X plus 6 centimetres. And that might help us in a minute. And I really would do that every time we do one of these questions. OK, so identify the known lengths. So the 8 and the 12 are the equivalent known lengths. They are the equivalent sides on the triangle. 
Um, we need to decide which way we're going. Well, the x, which is the thing we're trying to find, is on the bigger triangle. So let's go this way and find our scale factor. That's the second number over the first number of the equivalent length, so that's 12 over 8. And let's just check that that is, yep, that's bigger than 1, isn't it? And that's good because we are getting bigger. Okay, so now we can just say, although we're not going straight for PB, we are going for AB. AB is AP times 12 over 8. And if we substitute in uh, x plus 6 for AB and 6 for AP times 12 over 8. Now 6 times 12 over 8 happens to be 9. Okay, 1 and a half times 6. And then we can simply subtract 6 from both sides and get x equals 3 which is, of course, equal to PB. And we're done. Okay, so by some careful labelling of the sides, separating the diagrams out, and following our basic rules for scale factors, we have done a difficult question.